there's a quick look at my build as it is before I start taking anything out. We're going to be replacing the power supply. We're going to be putting some purse backs in the front with a fan mod. Um, we're going to be changing a few things around. The main hardware is going to be staying the same. Still going to be the Z68 motherboard with the Intel uh, 2600K in there. Still going to be keeping the two GTX 460s. And we're still going to be keeping the hard drives that we've got in there. We're just going to be jiggling things about a bit. And I'll keep you posted. So a quick update on what I've been doing. I've been cutting the panel that needs to go up there. Which I've got here. So I've cut it to shape with my Dremel. Cut the hole up for the fan. All I need to do next is just cut a little hole out for this thing temperature monitor thingy whatever you call it and then that's going to be mounted up in here I'll just show you the dry fit dry fit it's not going to be wet oh until it's late at night it's late at night and I've lost all the light so I haven't used my head torch. But that's what it's going to look like when it's in there. So, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. It's about two o'clock in the morning, and I finally got her together. Uh, got all the lights on. You can see the power supply with the blue light. I can change that as well. Press of the button at the back is white, red, and off. If I want it on blue, got my SSD hooked up in the top there. Got my got my lights. There's a strip light at the top with uh, about 10 LEDs or something, and then a five LED light on the side here as well. And a switch on the front. I fire up that high power fan it's very very noisy but you can feel that is pushing so much air that is incredible the amount of air that that's pushing still anyway I'll turn that off and just come around here and see what I'm doing And I'll show you some pictures when we get a bit of daylight. So it's the next morning now, and we've finally got some light, so I can uh, give you a good look round. The build's finished. Uh, there is one more thing I want to do, is I just want to uh, swap the feet over for some wheels, because I'll keep it under my desk, and it just makes life easier. But I didn't want to put the wheels on while it's up on the table, for obvious reasons. Don't want it rolling off and smashing on the floor. And I'm still on my this is only my second cup of coffee this morning, so you really have to bear with me after pulling an all-nighter. But let's uh, just show you the front. You can see the switches that I got put in there, just a couple of uh, generic switches. One for controlling that high airflow fan that I've got in that we'll show you in a minute. And one for controlling the lights. And if I spin it around again, hopefully you can see in there without too much glare. Not too bad. So you can't really see much of the mods that I've done. You can see the the power supply that's in there now which matches a little bit better with the blue theme. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay. So that's with the lights off and just the LED lights on 
the fans, etc. I'll just pull this curtain across. Might get a better view of that. It's a bit difficult to see. I'll pop the side off. Just undo the thumb screws. Blue thumb screws to match the theme. And that just opens up like that. Of course, the windowed side panel. There you go. I'll just bring you in for a closer look. Reasonably happy with the cabling, how that's turned out. Put me back on the tripod for a second. So we'll just spin it around a little bit, you'll be able to see the mod inside. So what I've done with the half 932 is I've just blanked off the entire optical bay region by cutting a piece of perspex to size. And it's, uh, it's, it's a semi-transparent perspex. And I've used the matte side to go with the paint because it's a matte finished paint. And I've cut a 120mm hole and I've got a like a, a 40mm fan or something or 35mm fan. Really, really, really high airflow. I'm not sure what the CFMs are on it, but it's got to be high because it just pumps out so much air, but it's extremely loud. So really, it's just there for... Um, just for giving a bit of high airflow to the CPU cooler when it, when I want to do some benchmarking or something. And I've uh, fitted a, a little meter in above here, just a temperature probe. And that's just giving you the sort of uh, ambient temperature before getting into the main area here. It's just the temperature from behind there, basically. I've mounted my SSD at the top here. It's always nice to get your SSD out on display and show off the coolness of the solid state drive. If I just pull this back across and flip the switch. That's with the lights on. I've got some LED strips at the top here. And I've got some LEDs shining out here as well. Not entirely happy with the way I've got that there. Because it was shining too much light on the side panel when it was on. So I've had to put some black tape to cover it. Which I'm not, not happy with the look and finish of that. It can't be seen once the side panel's on. But that's not the point. There's a lot of cabling gone into this because I've got control over all of my fans inside. So I start, I'll show you power supply, changes three different colours as well as off. I'll leave it off for now. I've got a bit fit, I'll pop you off the tripod and then bring you around. I've got this, they're all bit Phoenix Spectre fans in there, and I've got this. Bit Phoenix fan LED controller, so they, fans have got separate LED control. So it's another bunch of cables that you have to run. But if I just turn that, show you the fan. Sorry, let me do that. Up. There we go. So you can see the fans have gone off. And then, obviously, around the front, I can switch the main lights off. The only light I can't turn off is the LED on the CPU cooler. That's the only one. So, I like to have lights on my rigs. I like them to look smart, but I also want them to look stealthy and not be sort of 
glowing in the dark when I'm trying to play a video game or or watch a movie or, or something, you know, whatever. I don't want it to be too intrusive. So what we got inside here, the CPUs are 2600K. 1 CPU cooler sitting on top of that. We've got 16 gigs of crucial ballistics memory in there. It's, it's ballistics tracer. But they sent me through the wrong modules. I ordered blue. They sent me through red and green. Because there is two colours on it. But uh, red and green doesn't really work at the minute. But it, it'll work with a future rig. Um, they didn't have any blue ones. So I just decided to stick with the ones I've got. We've got all single braided cables for your 24 pin, uh, sorry 24 pin, 8 pin, PCI Express, two GTX 460s, just waiting on the 600 series at the minute, going to be doing an upgrade on those soon, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do multi-monitor gaming on uh, one card this time would be nice not to have to buy two cards at the same time makes it very expensive got the Corsair Force 3 120 gig solid state drive that's just uh, got a bit of sticky uh, really strong sticky tape on the back of it just sticking it up there because they're light as a feather you can really mount them anywhere again Bit of Phoenix Spectre fan in the top there, blue LED, same on the back, and the same in the front. We've got a 500 gigabyte standard sort of hard drive sitting in there. Western Digital one I expect, but I can't remember. And again, there's the mod that's been done. You can see it looks a bit white there, that's just where the sun's coming in because it is semi transparent. Obviously, when it's under the desk, it you won't see the transparency at all. And it also blocks the, all the blue LED light from shining through the optical bays, which I, I really didn't like. And I was trying to work out a way of uh, stopping that light, and this seems to have done the trick. Uh, it's a Z68 uh, chipset on the board, Asus. It's, uh, I forget the model number, but it's the Pro, so it's kind of middle of the range board. It's one that a lot of you guys are probably using. Again, with the blue thumb screws. I really think this is a nice touch for, you know, just a few pounds. You can go out and you can buy some nice thumb screws. Because originally on, on this case, you get a toolless. Uh, thing here and it, it, you put your drives in you clip it down but it doesn't doesn't work it won't fit past the plastic on your graphics card so I I just took the whole thing out and replaced it with the thumb screws and I actually think it looks a lot better because of it so I've probably forgotten to mention something if I have I'm sure you guys will mention in the comments but anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you with another one
Thank mm-hmm. you.